So this video today is all about brand marketing, which is why I've brought you to a place that has arguably more brands than anybody else in all of my hometown. And this is Rose R's, the local grocery store. So let's go check it out. So here we are in one of my favorite grocery aisles that you can ever walk down. And this is the cereal aisle. So check out all of these places. You know, all of these are built by someone that's usually a very large corporation. General Mills makes a lot of the cereals that you see here. There's quite a few, uh, quite a few brands, and most of them are owned by one singular corporation. But now look closely with me, because this is my favorite thing about cereal, is look how many places, look how many of these mascots they have on cereal. This is Fred Enns. Oh, I can't remember the other one. Fred Flintstone and the other little caveman dude. We have mascots on almost all of these. I don't even know this guy's name, Sugar Bear. There's so many mascots that you get by all of these cereals that are made by virtually the same people. We have uh, the tiger here for Frosted Flakes. We have this little parrot guy here. I remember seeing commercials with all of these mascots growing up. The, the sun, the sun raising guy. We have a little polar bear here. There's so many little cute puppies. Uh, frosted flakes. <laughs> like we can keep going. Uh, the tricks are for kids. Rabbit. Dude, little dragons. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. Lucky Charms. Are you seeing a trend here? There are mascots everywhere when you come to the cereal aisle. And like they're all over this grocery store. I'll even show you. Let's see if we can go find a couple more on different brands real quick because there's mascots for virtually every single big brand out there. They have mascots and we'll talk about why in just a second. We have the homemade noodles by Mrs. Miller. That's another mascot right there. We have some sort of Italian little girl here. That's another mascot. It's like innocence and purity is what they're looking at. They associate with their brand. We have another very friendly looking chef, Chef Emilia's, Emilio's, something like that. And that's another mascot there. We have the hamburger helper glove. That's another mascot right there. Super friendly little dude. Last one, we have these little squirrels on the wide awake coffee. That's another mascot. So why do companies create mascots for their products? I just showed you like a million of them. It probably got annoying at some point. Why do they do that? It's trust. It's trust. You see, if you look at most Hollywood movies that are made today since like early, like a long time, most American movies in general, all of them, a lot of them have businessmen as the bad guys. What this breeds is Americans don't really trust corporations. Most people in the world don't really trust corporations. So almost all the food here though, everywhere you look, is made by a big corporation. So how do you get somebody to trust you if you're a big corporation and everybody's teaching Americans not to trust you all the time because you've done some shady stuff in there. Uh, you create brand images and ideals that people can trust. Here's a great example here as well is we have these uh, these endangered species chocolates. These are like, they have a little elephant on it and things like this. This is a corporation that makes these and they create trust in this because everybody trusts, they, they believe that this endangered species cause is a good thing. It's a good thing to support endangered species chocolate. Uh, when you associate your name, with that, as a corporation, you suddenly uh, kind of borrow some of the trust. And this is what gets people to buy your products. And that's about as deep as I'm gonna go today because I still gotta do some shopping and people are looking at me weird for go in the, in the grocery store. But I'll talk to you guys soon. If you want more information, make sure to click the link in the bio in the YouTube video and I'll get to you. Uh, you can join my YouTube channel, or my uh, private email list very soon, all right? Talk to you in a bit.